Right, so three way is complete. We've got 30 respect, so let's continue. Vehicle stag enforcer with an N. Because it's cool. <laughs> Ooh, damn right. <laughs> It's like that, that I realise that's when we're in a relationship. Exactly. <laughs> so, we just did a massive, ridiculous mission that took forever. So now we should be able to unlock the running. So all I want is infinite sprint. And I still can't get it. 38, fuck this game. <laughs> so mean. So, PS Stag Film. Go to the broken Shilela. Shilela? I have no idea. What the fuck is that? Right. I imagine it's going to be one of those things that if we see if you it, hear we'll it, still it, not even know what it is. What's that? Some kind of collectible. You're not collectible in I've already done it on my own profile. Oh. This is a new guy. Because I'd already beaten this game. If this was blind, it probably would have been a better playthrough. But me and Aiden did it co op. That's a Ryan's belt. That is a Ryan's belt. Which means that they push it in here. Listen, dude, that's not a bad sky. Box. Is there a car over anywhere? <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody here? Can you take a plane? <laughs> you probably can. But. It is 1,883 meters away. Yeah. They're trying to clean that one. Reverse it a bit. This one! I bet you could definitely fly that one. That one looks very flyable. It's also got really cool spec stripe. Speed stripe. I'm here all week, folks. <laughs> da, 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 da. Left trigger doesn't reverse. X does. Break and reverse. Don't hit that. I don't have much choice, my love. It's not like it's the most responsive vehicle I've ever been in. I can't see where it's going. Oh no! Or up, we're up, we're up, we're up. <laughs> Took off practically vertically. <laughs> <laughs> see, when I show you the high life here, this is uh, mm. random city with too many lights on them buildings. The big buildings, there's but there's too windows. many lights. <laughs> right. Broken. Maybe it's Shalila. all the windows have got fairy lights in them. Maybe. maybe. Or maybe in the future, everything's bigger than we think it is. <laughs> like this, our character that we're playing as is actually an augmented human, so he's about ninety feet as opposed <laughs> to six feet, and we have no frame of reference in scale because everything in the future is totally crazy. Did you just fly it? Will, will the plane still be behind you? Yeah, probably. Crashing into something? Maybe. <laughs> right, it's just floating. <laughs> it's just floating. Oh, is this, what's it doing? There's another pilot on board that we didn't see. <laughs> and then it disappeared. Like, that, you know, if that would have hit a building, that would have been so good. Not for the people in the building, or, or the person <laughs> who owns the plane. But that would have looked so good. I thought that's what I was gonna do. You why did parachute it, out. Why did it do? Why down. did its flaps do like a, a crazy kayaky thing? Mm. Running into a car, I've got a hair on my arm. Did you get it? I think this is broken shillelagh because I think it's an Irish bar or some kind of you know shillelagh mm. kind of place. There's a leprechaun there. Someone will probably say it and we just can't hear it. Yeah, yeah. And it'll be ridiculously easy. Mhm. Mm I'll Google it. I want to know what one is. What's a shit? In Irish folklore, it is a beard that is sentient that tries to give people hair. Shit. I would just like to say, Shouty died for a good reason. Because I hated her. She was a bitch. And that's right. Drink to her being a bitch. What did you say about a beard? It's a wooden walking stick. Is it from Ireland? Yes, Irish spot. Cool. I presume so. It sounds it. Oh, plane's coming down. 
Was this that floating fortress bit? I wish you. I remember this one. It's an E sound at the end. Shillelagh. Shillelagh. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Broken shillelagh. That spelling so misleading. Shame they didn't get better weather. <laughs> I know quite a few people that have been to Ireland and really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's probably a great place. You, you like you like fields and potatoes and whiskey. Guinness. Yeah, Guinness is Guinness. is definitely there. I hear Colin Farrell meets you when you get off the plane. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Irish, Irish know how to do it, man. That's when they're not escaping to America. Yeah, I'd like to go. No, too. There's only places I'd like to go more than Ireland, though. <laughs> no, but it's fairly close and we can probably it's, get there quite cheap, cheap, so that'll yeah, probably be is, higher on the list. It just yeah, makes yeah, me think of really. Only Fools and Horses when, when Trigger's on about how he's going on holiday and he's like, you know, I'm going to go bountiful beaches, sunny days, go to nightclubs, go to some parties, really live it up. And Rodney's like, where are you going, Trigger? He's like, Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> and they look at him like an idiot. Because he is. So oh, he's really nice. Right, so you've got to go into this so we can get a helicopter. Nice. And I just opened the door and got back in the car. Because that's useful. A guy just got took out by my door as everybody's lazing my ponytail. My Steven Seagal swashing ponytail. It is very Steven Seagal. It is. I just need the one piece jacket now that holds his chin in place. <laughs> right. Oh wow, they've already set them out for us. Which I could just come on. Yeah! It's my house, I can break all I want. Right, let's get this one because it's facing the best direction. Oh, we're going to be killing some VTOLs. Oh, I can remember how to do that. Is that your plane from the car? That is a plane that I have access to, yeah. But it's not the same one. It's, it's the military. I nicked it from the military, so it's their plane, yeah. technically. They're probably going to come after you. So now we get to go to the Daedalus. What's that? Uh, the Daedalus is, I don't know which mythology it is from, but I believe it is a water beast, a water creature of some sort. Like Very similar to a, a Leviathan. Or a Kraken esque thing. Uh, I used to know exactly what it was when I was all digging mythology when I was a kid, but. We should learn more about that in schools as well. I did very little mythology. I had Encarta, so I did everything in mythology. I loved it. I would print it off and just like owning it seemed in to fact, be. I don't remember cool doing thing. any mythology at school. I probably did at some point. My sister did. Well, you you yeah. learn about Minos and, and the, the Minotaur mm -hmm. and stuff. My sister definitely did Heracles. Or Hercules. Well, yeah, Heracles and Hercules, same guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember doing it. I remember doing Vikings. Still love Vikings. Then again, if you've watched Jason and the Argonauts, you're well on your way. Um, oh! Yeah! No, I let you down It's so. such a good film. <laughs> and it's old too, but it's still great. He aged so much better than some, some movies. There's some stuff that I know, like, just from, you know, and stuff. Cyclops and that kind of stuff. Skeletons. Don't go down. Thanks. Get out, dude. Thank you. Oh, something. <laughs> you just sort of face planted out of the helicopter. Hey, right, fellas. <laughs> I'll just be on my way. Mm. Well, maybe not. Mm. How? Don't die. I'm not gonna die. I'm too blue. <laughs> too blue. Oh, it's those rockets. It turns it into fucking jiggle physics. Turned into a mm. pair of Jordan's tits. No, they don't move. Of course they do. Everybody knows fake boobs yeah. moves exactly like real boobs. Yeah, so much buoyancy. Looks solid. Yeah, we need to hide. Hide, hide, hide. And die. Very close to dying. Okay. Oh, and then there's a the tank. That is just bullshit. God. That's Jesus on the cross with a harness, so it's not even asphyxiating. Oh, this can still see me. It's a very terrible hiding place. Shoot me now. 
There we go, see? Broke the game. Yeah. So you get my life back, and then I can plant the second bomb. And I believe, once you plant both the bombs, you get off. So, get to climax. Oh, come on. You pin perfect missile bullshit. And you bouncing tank bit. That hit you while you were rolling. Yeah, this game is bullshit. Most games are bullshit. But you're supposed to siege and shoot with your, your airplane, but I just decided to to do Go a Usain Bolt. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just proving that blue people should be equal in the Olympics as well. Yeah. So this guy can do judo. Can do judo things. I'm so fucked. I'm running out of tank. I can't run anymore, so I'm not even doing that. Those tense moments where your life just doesn't mm -hmm. regen. Oh! Then finally! Get that life back and I can run and hopefully. Can I get in that detail, do you think? I think I can. If it's going to get doused by lasers, it's not going to last long. Oh, it's getting so doused. Is this a flight deck? After all of that, I just face plant. That is depressing. That's laughable. I've fallen from higher than that numerous times. I don't know what's going on. Oh, do you have to do it all from the beginning? Uh, maybe. It's time to plant a bomb. Can you not? Yeah, it might be the second bomb. Hmm. But it might be the first. That's the first. No, you don't know. It is, because the second one had like, like a L shape. Yeah. It was. Could you not have stolen one of the cars that was on the side and flown across? I could steal, steal a lot of things, yeah. But the question is, I didn't. And that's not what It's not. You could have said it with rising question intonation and it would have been. Well, guess what? I just went, no. Tactful. You silly. I'm tactful. I'm full of tact. I like the word tact. I like the word apt as well. Apt. Like apt pupil. Stephen King. What is this? Yeah, it's about to a Nazi that befriends a little boy. Oh. I think he's a. I think he kills him. I think it's um, Ian McKellen. Your tax dollars at work. Yes. You haven't seen anything since you've seen me do this. Do you want to shoot some of these fools? They're not even here when I'm this time. How high was that when I fell? I went that high. Did I have zero life or something? I thought I'd wait for it to recharge before I jumped in that vehicle. I thought you did, but I did too. <laughs> Maybe it was just a, a little bit too high to belly flop onto a giant corrugated landing strip thing. Right, time to go. Oh, what? I don't know. to plant another bomb. Just, just there. Isn't it much more relaxing now that all the enemies seem to have despawned, and instead of this giant say, laser yeah, fest of doom, I'm just chilling out now. Just completely unabashed, planting things. Nobody's bothering you. Bombs, no less. Just leave your bombs wherever you fancy. Exactly. Bring your own bombs. Put them where you want in the corner. Check nice and cool. At least you can. Yeah, fuck this one up. Somebody's lazy in my vehicle. Kill Cyrus. Ow. You <laughs> dirty rat. No, no, no. Ooh, that's what we want. Reloading. Sexy font. <laughs> What's the fuck? What's the fuck? Should really um, put this bad boy on. The biggest problem with this though is manual. Whoa, what's he doing? He's not showing me. I'm being persistently shot off. I don't think that's good. 
I don't remember this file at all. Maybe you skipped it off anyway. No, I don't think you can. It's a weird old fight. I don't like this bit. Like hitting this guy is going to be a nightmare. I'm just getting repeatedly shot. But I've had it. Like a. Really, ooh, minigun. That could be useful. Oh, I'll just get hit by a rocket. <laughs> Two <laughs> yards! He got hit in the face from two hands. You see how it took you to stagger him? Video games. Some things need to change. Ooh. Sensitivity of Metro Last Light is one of them. You put it on the hard, highest it goes, you turn like a sailor. Because obviously sailors turn extremely slow. I was going to say that. Yeah, they're notoriously slow turners. Oh. Every time issue it stuns you. That tank didn't stun me. God damn contrived mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Take my leave of <laughs> so um, firing bullets. I'm gonna shot again. Turns out games are easier when you can hear. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> not that this is difficult. Is the nut shot what it sounds like? I assume so, yeah. You must have been carrying Kippy. What, did you mean something else? No, I meant pain. Oh, do you think KP is universal or do you think that's probably just yeah? Uh, I don't know, it's a brand, it could be universal. My um, one of the girls from my car posted on Facebook the other day a picture of um, you know those pointy crisps. All those ones we had in, in France. France. Yeah. My boyfriend had been away and brought some back. They're pretty good crisps. I bet they're called something different in America. I had Cheetos the other day. Are they any good? Are they just Watsits? Disappointing Watsits. I expected wow. more from them. Shitter Watsits. I did expect more. I will kill them all. And then when I'm done killing, I'll kill more. What American foods have you tried? Pop tarts. I've tried Pop tarts, I've tried Reese's Pieces. Oh, um, I've tried Bagel. Is Bagel American? I've tried a bagel. Uh, I've obviously tried peanut butter. Because that seems to be an American stereotype. Have you tried peanut butter and jam sandwiches? No, because I'm a human being who has a tongue. Yeah, but that's a big thing, isn't it? Fuck that. I haven't had any of the cereals, although I know I will like them because I'm a very cereal driven person. I've just well, gone in and got out. It's ridiculous that you can. The American sweet shops in York. Yeah, you might explain well, explain how that works because there's probably people that don't understand it that are listening. Yeah, we, there's sort of this surge all of a sudden of American candy shops appearing. I don't know if it's everywhere, but there's definitely a couple. Well, in it's York. in the bigger areas, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that sell very specific kind of drinks that you can only really get in America, cereals that you can only really get in America, and normal. Chocolates and sweets. Yeah, it's it's a, an American delicacy shop. But of you can stupid, buy. bad for your bullshit. And, and I mean, I don't really know the conversion rate at present, but I know it used to be pretty much ten double. times more. Yeah. It, it, for a, a dollar, it was double, so fifty p was a dollar. And Lucky Charms for a normal sized box, possibly a small. For what you can get in America, it's probably a small box of Lucky Charms. Yeah. Is like eight pounds. So eight like, pounds for a for a box of cereal. So that's something nearing fifteen dollars yeah. for a box of cereal. For the small box of cereal. <laughs> and that's how much they're cereal. selling that bullshit to us because we don't have that. Cans of like grape soda and stuff. For yeah. Like three quid. Cans of tab. Which in America you can probably get for like fifty cents or something stupid. Yeah. It might be a dollar. Like a dollar or something. But either way, it's extortionate. But people are paying it, and people are buying it, and Hershey's chocolate and stuff that yeah. is actually really bad chocolate. It's not as good as the chocolate we already have, which is significantly cheaper. No. The only thing is, like, actual candy and so, so, like, I really like Reese's peanut butter cups. I do. Um, They're alright. But silly things, and it's the same sweets that we have here, just different flavours. It's so like M Ms, M Ms, ridiculous yeah. amounts of flavours. Because pretty much here you can sort of get there's normal three ones, three base flavours in there. Normal chocolate ones, 
uh, peanut ones and crispy ones. Yeah, that crispy one. Um, which even then the crispy ones are still ha- kind of hard to come by. These are credits. I think we've just beat it. And we're talking about sweets. <laughs> You see, if you do the other one, where you save Shandy, you go, like, to space. This this is just one of those games where they can do anything, isn't it? Yeah, because I think you're still going to have to kill Bane and, and it's a film set, or maybe that's the, the epilogue, I don't know. How exciting. We just finished it without realising. Yeah, American foods. And American people, I assume. Mm, probably. I'll probably I wonder if they still call people Nathan, if they call called Nate, or if Nate has become a name as opposed to an abbreviation of Nathan. Like, uh, do you say Anthony or Anthony? Do you think it it's indicative of spelling? Because, no. because, because, uh, Lummy gets really fucking mad, you know, if you say Anthony. Because, yeah. like, to him, it's Anthony, regardless of... See, so, you know, my, uh, I think, I want to say cousin, who's Anthony, stop to because my dad is, is Stephen, spelt P H. My cousin Stephen is P-H. So you know what I mean? It's, I, d- I can understand if you want Bauer. It's a good name. Because that's the thing, I'm always really baffled when it's shortened to Steve. Does it automatically become a V? But otherwise, it, it must do, otherwise it's Steph. Steph. Yeah, that is kind of weird and distant. <laughs> Just completely feminised your name, Stephen. Burp, burp, burp. But then it's the whole thing of people shot. Who was I talking to you the other day? I don't know. You were talking to him. Somebody called Chris, I think. Okay. And With a K? No. No, but like, no, no like H. Yours. No H. No. K R. It was like yours. Sure, that's not my point. But it's that presumption, and it might just be because of you that I automatically. His name is Christopher. Not Christian. Or Christian or Crisps. Crispin, yeah, but that's a K. It's got you on. Sometimes it can be a C. No H though. Mm. Never H. But still, weird names. Mm. There's no na- weird I names on this either. Not really. That's why but I like I've the Japanese sh- ones. I thought I said prawn holiday then. No prawn. Um, but I've never really shortened names because my mum and dad don't like it. I like Danny. Oh god. <laughs> no. D L. I don't really know. Short names are. Uh, I think it's more the people around you than yourself. With that stuff. Like, if you get into a circle of friends that like to do that type of stuff. That's the thing, I sort of have avoided it. The only person that does is Matt. Because I'm down. This is just weird. Mm. It's just mm. masculine I yeah. <laughs> That's a nice point. So that it can fetishise about sucking you off. Generally, if people have done, and it's bothered me. And up until coming to uni, it sort of did. Um, I would correct them. Well, when they tried to yeah if someone called me Danny in. and I'd, it was somebody particularly if it was someone I've like just met <laughs> who then take it upon themselves sure that's pretty good <laughs> and he seems pleased with it yeah. then I would correct him and they say that gaming is a predominantly male thing <laughs> I wonder why yeah production babies always a good one are they the people that have been born? These are the babies that have been born from the production staff oh, during the adorable. making of the game. Yeah. I like Evelyn, isn't it? Do you? Or Evelyn. How about Evelyn? Evelyn? I like Lorelai, isn't it? What, why? Go more girls. <laughs> Don't make any sense. But Masakura. In- That's a really good English name there, is it? Sakura. In- Sakura. In Go More Girls, they're both called Lorelai. But the younger one shorts it to, shortens it to Rory. I was nearly called Vincent. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Because it's my granddad's name. Uh, Paula Mark. I was, I was nearly Caitlin. I like Caitlin. I think it's weird. You could have been Blood Zoo. What? Oh, Kai Tao. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So I should have a. What does winking mean? Why are they winked? I'm not too sure. They're animators and artists. Are they like nods too? So they didn't necessarily do stuff that's in the game, but they. Oh, I am the not too sure. It might be the company. Winking might be the company, yeah. That makes more sense. Maybe it's Win King together. Well, it was Cooler. Like <laughs> Look, Epic Pink Ying Pei Games. Character assets. Need animators. This is why I, I don't understand. 
anyone who says the, the video games are not art, because you know when you sit and you watch these credits and there's all this talent that comes together to make this, these experiences, it must be the most condescending industry to be a part of, because everybody still associates it with kids in the bedrooms and, oh, is he playing a game like a board game? Like, it's so fucking, ugh. Well, it's just patronising. Like and it's making more money than anything, though. Well, right? Yeah, just same like... as comics. Same as all that kind of culture. But then even it's more bigger things that are like sort of Pixar and that. Then you see the production behind it when it's all hand drawn, not necessarily Pixar, but especially like Studio Disney. Ghibli and, and the original Disney yeah. stuff. I'm just like well, the films for kids, but ridiculous amount of stuff. Yeah, films for kids like The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Disney, where the the padre has the sense that the, the temptations of Esmeralda song, where he's essentially saying mm. that he wants to. Rape her. Yeah, Disney's kind of cheeky. Yeah, like that guy that Steve Blum did the zombie voice. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bill Billing, Billing Steve. I wonder if they've credited him as a different. It's usually Bill Billingsley. And anybody wondering? Crispin Freeman. Speaking of Crispins, he voiced Alucard in Helsing. <laughs> Guy's a boss. Have a look. Debbie Mae West, did she? I think she did Mae Ling in Metal Gear. Why is the Schneider? That seems it. No, Johnny see. Bosch, voice of Vash the Stampede from Trigun, also a Power Ranger in the original series, uh, original show. Not the one that we came up last time. No. That's a, is that Michael? Why? Oh, is it Mikael? Or Mikael? That looks fucking weird as whatever that is. Unless it's pronounced like Miguel. Roger Cross. Terry Plant, Travis Willingham, William Lee, and Zuri Alexander. A lot of these sound like stage names, you know, like when actors change their Well, they are, for the most. I mean, I like it. Definitely. Like trying to see if I know any more. Because when I was pretty deep in anime, I used to try and remember as many names as I could. Yuri Lowenthal. Isn't that a character from Tales of Vesperia? Maybe it's named after him. Weird. Motion capture services. This is a lot of credits. Facial capture services provided by Cubic Motion. Troy Baker! Troy Baker! He was in it for enough, so. Motherfucker! He's everywhere! <laughs> Liam O'Brien, I think that's the person. Uh, that might be Cunningham who did. Yeah. But still, Troy Baker. Dude is saturating the market right now. He's loving it. Skinny bastard. Good actor. Victor Rodriguez, Fernando de Los. I, I was thinking, I was reading Victor Rodriguez when you said it. Rodriguez. Localization group. I wonder what it's like to be in the localization stuff. Bringing it to a different country. So a lot of it's probably just marketing. What do they even do? I don't they change the language, they localise it to oh. a certain area. Like they might be the people that deal with the voice actors that are doing the dubs and stuff. I'm not too sure, but it must be interesting. External Development Group? Well, XDG if you're in the business. Director of Online? Director of Engineering? Quality Assurance, here's your game testers. Here's your QA. The people that won't give me a fucking job. Give him a job. Senior testers. Standard testers. I wonder if half of these people are just staff. Because <laughs> I've seen Mike Reynolds before on this list. So. Maybe that's why the stuff that we don't like stays in. Because they're the ones that made it. The design it in. yeah. Senior compliance, project leads, compliance. No idea what that even means. What's the QA? Quality, quality assurance. assurance. Yeah. So maybe that's making sure that everything that's in it is legal. Submission coordinators, uh -huh. QA, operations, usability, senior supervising, mastering, mastering lab technicians. And there's a lot of work. Data analyst. Human resource administrator. We have to make sure everyone gets paid. Yeah. Motherfuckers. We want to get paid. Pay us. Long ass credits. So many people. Marketing. Head of marketing, marketing UK. Senior product manager. Marketing. Germany. Netherlands. This is really long. Netherlands. Oh, 
on Spain. Random export. APAC. It's my favourite country of all countries. It's where Tupac came from. Now it's only APAC. <laughs> See what I did there. It's a little bit funny. <laughs> well, this is going on forever, guys, so... <laughs> uh, there might be something at the end of it that I'll probably put in later, but... This live playthrough has took forever. So thank you for your patience. Uh, a lot of people that have been watching have been saying they really like it. They like the change of pace. And it has been fun to make. And it allows my, my girlfriend to, to incorporate into the videos, which is always good, because that's the type I'm of stuff awesome. that we want. And she is awesome. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which one? Dominic Ponoswami. Ponoswami. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for watching guys and you take care now.